Welcome to the Magistrata Mundanus, episode 11, entitled Knock Knock. Basically, at this point, we gave up on Tabletop Sim. We had a lot of amazing maps made by Mr. Laws of the Black Pants Legion, who built all of these wonderful, wonderful sets for us and everything in Tabletop Simulator. But despite his best efforts, it's Tabletop Simulator, so we had to switch to Foundry. We did this on the fly with a break, and it's amazing it worked at all. In this episode, the squad starts a mostly unnecessary giant firefight, which, despite everyone's best intentions and efforts, actually advances the plot. This is where things go off the crazy train. So please, sit back and enjoy. So, last time around, you guys were going to go apparently raid what might have been the last holdout of the Underhill gang. Till one of you got a really good idea. What if we threw this device that we'd been given into that trap door and then see what happens? And smartly enough, you decided to get the fuck out of there before whatever happened happened. And in your rearview mirror, much like a Roland Emmerich film, something horrible happened. And there was an enormous white flash of light. Land disappeared into the yawning maw of explosive energy. And what was once the watershed district is no more. There is a giant crater. There are spraying water mains. And there are many questions. But as you remember, Dispatch called and asked if you had seen anything. I believe your response was, not at this time. No, that, was we'll go check it out. <laughs> yeah, you just you guys are basically like, yeah, no, <laughs> things are pretty normal here in normal land. <laughs> We're nearby. <laughs> um. So, what are you guys doing now that you've barely inched out death, and there is a giant crater, like a giant lake of a crater in the distance, just in, in the, behind you, in the rearview mirror? You realize that. Feet from your rear bumper. Feet from your rear bump bumper is just gone. That shit is gone. It's just, that's the start of the crater. That's the lip of the crater. That's how close you came to joining and merging with the infinite. I think we can tell them that we found the problem. There appears to be a hole for there was none. Man, those rattlings get more screwy every day. <laughs> So wait, you're just going to be like, oh, those rattlings with their fusion bombs. Mario Tech bomb or whatever it is. Yeah, just, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a warp issue. There's a warp thing or something. Are you going to use that excuse? Do we really want to blame I'm not a really good liar. How the Inquisition gets involved. Yeah, because that, that would... Warp. The, 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 it would be one of those things where you're like, yeah, the warp did it. And then, like, the next week, ships just start arriving in orbit. <laughs> and it's like, oh, uh -oh. No, okay, I won't do that. If I knew that, if I know that's, like, the course of action, I would not. Play yeah, you, you, that, that would be like, hey, look, why are all the space marines coming down to shoot everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Things seem awfully grim around here and fairly dark. <laughs> Um, okay, so you, you hear over the Vox said, Delta G-17? Uh, th this is Delta, go, go ahead. G-17, Delta, Delta, this is G-17 Central, please come in. Th this is Delta, co coming in, go, go ahead, G-17. Tell some for investigating, we need time to come up with a problem. We're investigating the recent uh, gas noise leak. complaint. <laughs> <laughs> gas <laughs> leak noise complaint. In the water district, there's a lot of gas pipes going through. <laughs> Delta G17. Interrogative. What is the status of the sheds at Waterfront District? Uh, they're asking what this. Uh, oh, what? Absent. <laughs> um, exploded. Reports are in that munitions were stored on premises. Possible cause of disruption. Un unknown at this time. We we are investigating. Unless you want us to focus on something else. 
Delta G17 standby for meet additional en route. G17 out. And uh, they're, they're sending in meat additional? Yeah, so um, they... We're getting back up. Yeah, they, yeah. they just hung up on the radio. Um, and before long, a, a prowler pulls up. One of the few vehicles you've noticed in the uh, selection of vehicles in the motor pool that isn't heavily over-armored. In fact, it looks distinctively middle class. It has four doors. It has four wheels. The glass is not so broken. Captain. The paint is not shipped. And opening the door is the captain. Oh, no. <laughs> who <laughs> marches over and bangs on your window with a baton. I'm just going to wave. Which window? The driver's Which side. Window? Driver's side just... <laughs> <laughs> like not happy. Yeah, she can't, she can't open, prove it was us. Open the door because the window doesn't roll down. Yeah, no, just and she's like, she doesn't say anything. She just points at the crater. Yeah, Richie. Uh, Where did it come from? <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll for that. I'm sorry, you. Yeah, you're you're gonna have to be like, oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> all right, let's see how this works. Uh, deceive. Okay, I unfucked everything. All the images should show up just fine now. All right, <laughs> Ooh, you succeeded. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, was it a modifier of zero? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 text. If you want to give the the enemies more gear, like weapons or armor, go to the little suitcase for items directory, and you can just drag and drop shit. In. Oh, cool. All right, neat. Um, I'm going to keep shit basic for this one, because we're learning Foundry, but as it goes on, it's going to get a little more involved. And a little Dark more. Heresy, every five de points is a degree? No, every ten. Every ten. Oh. So, yeah, four degrees of success. Even if this was a really hard one, he passed very well. You know, for some reason, I'm just blown away by this crater you just pointed out to me. Yeah, so she... <laughs> She's like, Ugh. she just does the, did you do this? And you're like, what? Where'd that come from? And she goes, whatever. Look, I said, I said, if nothing happens, you get some time off. And she gestures to the crater and goes, what happened? I'm not saying you did it. Obviously, you didn't. <laughs> We located the Underhill gang, and in the middle of the firefight, they fucking exploded. She just, she just, she walks away from the vehicle, and she walks to the edge of the street where there is... A 30-foot drop? No, no, just walks to the edge of the street, and just stands there a moment, and then screams, fuck. And you hear it just echo across the crater. Just, fuck! <laughs> and then she walks back and goes, all right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to write this up as an ammunition lab exploded. And we're going to say that's what happened when the Arbitays get involved, which they will, because they've been fucking around on that bridge and poking at it and shooting people and throwing them off the bridge. Now they need something else, and we just gave them something else. And we're going to say we need additional resources, which we're going to get. This is going to help the department. I need you guys to get the fuck out of here. Uh, I very smartly salute and get back in the truck. You want to come? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I asked her if she wanted to come with us. <laughs> you want to get out of here? She she just shakes her head and like starts tapping a pack of cigarettes out. You know, just like I I I'm done with you. I'm done with all of you. Off, just Ricky reaches out and yanks her. <laughs> Uh, you'd be surprised. So it I morning, try, but I failed. Yeah, m morning. Gentlemen, sixty-nine. I think nice. Wait, you tried slide a hand? I tried to do that as I'm passing by and grab her cigarette, but I just knocked the whole pack out of her hand. Yeah, it she just falls into the pit below. Yeah, she just stares at you. She just stares at you with like cold, dead eyes, and she goes. <laughs> She points at the sergeant and says, punch that man in the face. Oh, we were driving away. I know. Like, this was happening as, like, we're Oh, by. oh, so just... Yeah, and yeah, she just... grab it, and it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
she just glares as you drive away. It's like it's like the end of the Road Warrior, you know, standing in the street, yeah, just staring, <laughs> just that that horrible, horrible stare. Okay, so um, as as you're driving away, you know, there's only a few hours left in your shift before morning comes, and then Alpha will inherit this problem. <laughs> However, before long, the rain. The thunder, the lightning comes back. Another storm blowing up and blowing over G-17. The Vox crackles in protest, and you hear, soon enough, Delta, Delta, G-17, Delta, respond. G-17, this is Delta. Go ahead. There's a pause, and then they go... G7 Delta G17 calling Delta man from local landline inquiring how to legally kill a man in quote these slum lands unquote accent is from uptown trace is partial appears to be a local bar great attempted murder I thought we responded he starts like flipping through shit is this a crime <laughs> <laughs> is this considered a crime Responding over. Stand by. Further traffic. Mysterious coinage appearing at local trade vendor. Same address. Possible contraband. Possible defacement of imperial coinage. Investigate. Defacement of imperial. Invest Delta (laughs) investigating. So wait, wait. Attempted murder. You're like, is this even a crime? Defacing of bureaucracy. Oh, damn. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Um, this seems like a very urgent crime. Yeah, it's it's very urgent, especially after you somebody somebody made a giant hole in the ground in another part of the district, which is visible from space now. <laughs> <laughs> there could have been a gas leak. I mean, we don't know that whole thing was that orb. <laughs> We're the police, really? Nah, eh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you as you guys uh, as as you guys pull up to the address in question, you guys manage to drive through some back streets, and before long, you arrive at this really seedy looking bar. There are drunks up and down the street, just in various places of settling down to sleep it off through the day. There's sailors and dock workers walking away from the bar, some propping each other up. The ladies of the evening are wrapping up their business. It is an interesting place, to say the least. Some of you, like Rich City, believe that this is a high-quality establishment, and you certainly belong. But to other people, like the Chromanovan, this is like something from your horror books. The things your parents used to scare you of the lower hive. Maybe we should check out the attempted murder. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the that's same fucking place. Yeah, they're both at the same place, actually. Which wouldn't surprise you. <laughs> All right, so I, I roll up onto the curb, knock over a lamppost, and park it. <laughs> just, just to assert dominance? Just just to, like, assert dominance. Just crunch up onto... Uh, you know what? Roll yeah, driving. Yeah. Roll driving. I did. It's a failure. It's a failure. Oh. All right, so... He was so, trying, that's he was trying to park normally, action. and he... Oh, yeah. okay. So you're describing your failure. Got it. Man, I, I wish it yeah. made a noise when that happened. I'm not getting any. <laughs> um, I didn't hear any either. Uh, something to go forward in the future. But yeah, no. A couple of, couple of drunk sailors dodging the lamppost as it comes down. Yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> in sparks, you know, and you're like, oh, the police are here. And at the last minute, you like flip on the lights just to let people know, like, we are the police. Just your rear deck. <laughs> a little bit so that I can claim that the land post wasn't me. <laughs> All right. Um, before long, a man comes out from this bar and he, he, like a man. he, he is wearing long disheveled like overcoat that's just dripping wet. It's partially moth eaten and raw looking and it just smells like a car's carpet that has been in a rental fleet for 20 years. It smells like feet and cigarettes. And the guy's like, what's all the commotion? I kick the back door open and I zip my pants up 
step outside and I look at this man and I'm like, arms out to the side, please. And he goes, no. I grab him and I say, arms out to the side. Oh, you're going to lay hands on him. I am. Roll for initiative. Uh, Dinks, can you summon the uh, music bot and give us some epic throwdown music? Okay, Googling epic throwdown music. I, I want something. Yeah, this I is going to go on the podcast, so make it as fun as you like. It I won't or will. <laughs> it will. So make it as fun as you like. I'll, okay. I'll let I'll let Diggs be DJ Diggs. No, this is just a test foundry, but it's also a fun adventure to kind of wrap up what happened after your uh, cratering <laughs> of part of the district. <laughs> it's urban renewal. <laughs> Very aggressive urban region. All it did was kill a million bums. I'll kill a million more. All right, Ricky, you're up. The guy has thrown his cloak open, and he has a gun in the waistband. Looks like he doesn't like law enforcement. How many guns does he have in his waistband? Just just one. I mean, this, this guy's... take it from him immediately and shoot him with it. Well... Uh... <laughs> Holy I'm going to take shit. it right out of his holster, and I'm going to take and stick it right into his chest, <laughs> using him as a shield and firing the gun. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> what is Because that's a throwdown in the hive, man. I oh, see people like this. Yeah, okay. I get that's it. Immediate, I, yeah. I, I, okay. I, I was trying to see if he had drugs, but now that I know he wants to fight us, and now combat's activated like it's cyberpunk, and everybody in the vicinity knows we're about the fight, I'm going to go ahead and just go, all right, let's do this. <laughs> all right. So that being said, that being said. Um, so what do I roll for that? Melee? <laughs> let's um, let's go well, for that. I got, I'm taking his gun. So is it is it melee to just take his gun that's in a holster? Yeah. I mean, weapons still to grapple. Probably somebody, sleight of hand, maybe? Taking um, something out of the holster, I'd say probably like sleight of hand or weapon skill. Well, I mean, it's got to be weapon skill because it's, it's not, the guy's not unaware of it. It's not a yeah. delicate. It like, ooh, I got it. It's, yeah, yeah, you're you're just like, Gah! you know. So, weapon skill, okay. roll it. Oh, I was just one point over. Ooh. So you try to like grab and snatch that gun out of his belt and fuck his shit up, when instead you like just grab his gut, and he's like, oh. <laughs> Like your thumb, gonna, like grab his crotch. No, your thumb goes into his belly button, and it you, you feel grossed out, and he looks really startled. He doesn't know what this is, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> All right, that was yours. Okay, next, uh, Griglak, son, son of Griglak. You see, uh, you see, Rich City try to grab this guy's gun, and instead grab his like gut punch, and the guy's like, oh. <laughs> uh, does Griglak have to get involved? Okay, Griglack will charge, which is plus 20. Oh my god. Okay. Um, <laughs> head, 13 damage. <laughs> so, as you grab him in the gut, and the guy goes, Oh! <laughs> you hear Griglack thunder up behind you, and just tee off on his head, and you, he just, like, bonks it down into the guy's torso. And there's like a horrible gurgling noise as that happens. It's just like, boonk, and he's, and then he dies. He he's he is. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, he's he is dead. Fuck. And I don't have lightning attack yet. <sighs> I'm okay. Where's my next guy? If you ju you can just click on the oh I see icon all right so that guy can go that far and then okay Uriah is up all right uh, Uriah is like oh shit and he um uh, goes to the trunk and he uh grabs the he grabs the fucking the machine gun all right good call good call all right next is okay uh let's see next is him he's spelling out there. Next is... There's a lot of scum here for me to be really close to the bottom. <laughs> well, it's... it's this, this is a bar, or it's a hive of scum and villainy. What a shit. Uh, uh, get it? Yeah. S Star Wars. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is a bar where there's a bunch of really bad people, and uh, they, they've been kind of watching... To see what's going on. All right, so that door is open. 
Okay, that guy. All right, that guy. These, you're gonna have some of these guys boiling out, and some of these guys like getting ready to uh, do their thing. All right, so Victor von Vogt, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to grab the speaker for the loudspeaker, the microphone, and I'm going to pop the top hatch and charge the uh, machine gun on top and say to the speaker, disperse citizens, this does not... Oh, we're going to just shoot off this whole <laughs> <laughs> So wait, you're getting on the mic, the, the loudspeaker, and you're basically doing a wake out of these guys. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> More like a judge dread. Oof. All right, so um, no effect that you can see. That you can see. Uh, Quinn. On my turn? Yes. I didn't even get out of the vehicle yet. Nope. You you see Griglank and Ricky. Uh, yeah, you see Griglank and Ricky over by a dead man on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, I'll evoke uh, a natural aim that and just hold it for that moment. All right, so you're going to hold it oh, until... I have it up. Diggs, you rolled two nines. <laughs> I uh, have to roll four any time. I was rolling 1D. Do I have to make one for each one? Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. I'm not rolling four dice for this. I was rolling one dice for this. Oh, okay. And I rolled an eight. Okay. So I, I'm going to call out when I cast how many, because I don't want to make a macro for every level of Psyker Power. Okay. And we'll just. I could count. do that. Okay. Yeah, so if I say like two, then we'll count the first. No, no, and we'll we'll do it as as time goes on. We'll tune it. So don't worry. This is a test game, Dick. Yeah. So, so right yeah, now yeah. we're just an eight. Because I was gonna say two I, nines. I, I Holy them. shit! That would have been like, hey, there's a bunch of guys in that bar. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> I would <laughs> roll for fucking dice for getting ready for my next turn. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna get really unnatural unnatural with this one. All right, cool. Um, okay, so you're getting ready. You're you're just warming up. All right, so... Yep, I just got ready. Okay, this guy's coming out. Uh, this guy is coming out. And then this guy is coming out. Oh, that door's open now. And then, yeah, okay. It is now Rich City's turn. Oh, man, one of my NPCs disappeared. Rich City. Uh, Griglank just came up behind you and uh, bonked a guy. And he is dead. The man is dead in front of you, and Grig like did it. Yeah, uh, he already knew that it was going to be uh, messy the second the guy showed up that he was going to start fighting. Yeah. And uh, he just yells back, it's going to be a long old night, boys, and he pulls out <laughs> his guns. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, he's going to go ahead and... Uh, you, you, you can see... Hold on, how can I make... Yeah, you can see this guy who just came out of the door on the edge of the building. If I okay. scroll all the way out. Yeah. That that guy yeah. limited vision, but yeah. Yeah, that guy has just opened the door. He has a gun in his hand. He looks like he's wearing the same colors and clothing as the man you have just had die at your feet. I, I, I didn't care. I'm gonna run at him and uh, shoot him. Okay. You're gonna run and shoot. You're gonna you're gonna John Woo this shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get um, uh how many how far can I go? Okay, well you can go on your character sheet. It should you should have a running, walking, what have you. Um but that's well within range of sprinting. You can you can get there. Yeah, cuz I can charge and shoot. No, yeah, that's way within range. Yeah, I'm going to get like right up to him. So and I'm going Okay, yeah. Yeah, I so here's what he's going to do. He's going to straight up uh He's going to look back at Griglack, and he's going to be like, all right, that was cool, but watch this. And he's going to run all the way up to this guy right here, yeah. sliding on his way over. Oh, shooting. oh my God. So you're yeah. going to do like the roadie stage slide as you go yeah. by and like, it like just yeah. blast the guy as you go roll here's, by. Okay. So here's the thing. If I miss, I keep sliding. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Let's do that. So if, I, so if I miss, I just keep sliding this way, and then you decide if I crash or not. No, no, I like that. I like yeah. that. You're on. Okay, so that would be ballistics. That is ballistics, and that is glorious. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, you rolled an eight. Okay, roll damage. Right, yeah, right underneath it, and that was with... Uh, that's, that's six degrees of success. Holy! Yeah, we weren't really counting uh, degrees of success in the last game, so yeah. Well, we were. Sense. Um, 
but it's uh, if you're firing all out, uh, you're looking at Jesus Christ. You're firing first, a degree of success map matter. Well, yeah, but I'm also looking at the gun uh, because if he's using his revol- not not revolver to Hellboy because Jesus Christ, he's not. No, that's a that's a my. Uh, yeah, Ricky, you should be using the under combat. You should just click on the name of the weapon you're using. Yeah. There so you I was going to do that one and that one. I, well, uh, wait. So, no, hold on. I have to roll the damage and not because this is the thing. If I roll it, it's going to use my ballistic skill anyway. So I should have rolled the weapons first. I, or how does that work? Yeah, that's a good question. Go. Why is it rolling ballistic skill? And then he clicks on the weapon and it rolls it again and says you didn't hit. Uh, because he should have just clicked on the weapon and it rolls based on ballistic skill instead. Oh, it's so a way to automate the modifiers and auto calculating the damage as well. All right, um, let's just go ahead and re-roll the revolver then. Okay, until it, until it does hit. Yeah. Revolver ocelot. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so left Righteous arm yeah. and left Righteous arm. <laughs> oh my god, Righteous Fury. So as you go sliding by with both guns, you're like, Cha-cha! and you pull the triggers and you just wow. blow his left arm off. Like he's running out of the building to get into this gunfight and you just blow his arm off and he cartwheels back in. I mean, it's it's awful. So is it like, is it like uh, Tarantino where the guy oh, yeah. back? Oh yeah, it's super Tarantino, dude. Okay. So shit, you you guys are cleaning house. Two down, uh, some to go. Like this, From our perspective, yeah. garbage, and they have no armor. Ricky has I'm done. His... Back at Greg, like, like, <laughs> like, like it's a like it's a rap battle. Like now, back to you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're <laughs> so you're you're now forming that bond with Greg, like. So Greg, like, you have seen the man, the strange man, the very strange man who speaks strange word. Run and slide on knee. And as he run and slide on knee, he shoot man with bang stick. And man come apart. And he gestures at you in a plaintive gesture. Griglack, what do next? Griglack will run up here on the side of the... How do I, how do I move? Uh, you want to move, move there? Yes. Okay, you, you move there. You're, yes, you're, and you're, I, I will nod somewhat approvingly. <laughs> just a one curt nod, like, hmm, a warrior's nod. All right. Exactly. I, I got it. Okay, so here we go. We got these guys. Okay, he's going to stay there. And Okay, Uriah, you're up. All right. Um, all right, so Uriah is encumbered with this big fucking gun. Uh, but as he turns around, he can see that guy over by the corner, and he immediately just yells out, Stop re- um, stop resisting! And he just, like, takes a squat to stabilize the gun and tries to sh- shoot the guy. Okay. Let's see what these uh, administratum clerks can do. Make bang bang. Okay, let's see. Oh, dear. I brought, brought, brought miss. Yeah, so you're like, stop resist! And you just lean into the trigger, and it just paints up the side of the building. <laughs> yes. All right. Oof, that is bad. You, you, you learn a thing or two about full auto. All right, let's see. Next. Okay, this guy runs behind that vehicle, which is not a cop car for the sake of argument. He's staying there. He's staying there. All right, more of them are starting to pour out of the building. You realize that maybe this was a gang, a gang hideout. Okay, they're moving, they're moving, they're moving. Okay, Victor von Focht, you are go. Okay, from my perspective on the mounted gun on the truck, I can see the guy behind the car, correct? Correct. Let's make him go away. You're gonna fire the auto cannon. Got it. Yes. All right. So you 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 just you've already racked the gun. You've shown you mean business. You've gotten on the lot hailer, and now you mm-hmm. point the muzzle at them. And oh dear. Oh my. So as you start punching rounds out in this auto cannon and taking like fist sized chunks out of the ground, just walking it up the street, there's a bit of a hitch. Or maybe it's a little wet from all the rain, but you slip a bit and paint up the side of the building and shoot a road sign off. <laughs> Just, you know, and you're like, oh, oh, well done. All right, that guy's going to move there. And then Quintos, you have held your 
invocation of clear shootery. What are you going to do with it? I don't think there's anyone to shoot out here. You see some people at the end of the street where uh, the man on the panel gun has been letting loose with an auto cannon. Do I have a line of sight to shoot him? I would say you do, but uh, let me look. You can see him. Yeah, you can see him. You can see him. He's... Can he cast that through a closed window? Well, he can't shoot through a closed window. Well, he could, but that would be penetrative roll. I, w- I was going to get out and just get oh. behind this car and take a shot at the long last. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I meant like he's behind the open door and is like looking through the glass. Oh, well, yeah, he did that earlier, as you may remember. He stuck a gun up and was just through the hatch and was just like, eh, bam, and hit a guy. Okay, I have a... I'll take a shot anyways. All right, let's see. Because it has accurate, and I also have a natural aim, so I'm at a plus 40 already. Ooh. And I'll use a half action to aim. <laughs> this is just messed up. All right, pull that trigger. Uh, see if I'm doing this correctly. Yeah, you're doing it correctly. Um, <laughs> Six degrees of success in his left leg. Yeah, so... Damage uh, 10. Yeah, so as the round cracks out, you hear a guy at the far end of the street scream and fall over. If he ain't dead, he will be soon. Lightning booms. <laughs> the sky lights up. You see that the storm is hurrying. People are running for their lives. Someone down the street screams, Someone call the police. <laughs> We are the police. We are the police. <laughs> I, I I lean down into the truck and go ahead and flip the siren for extra ambiance. All right, so you've you've flipped yeah you flipped the siren just so just so people know that no we are the police because apparently my announcement wasn't enough. Uh, people say all sorts of crazy things. Ricky, you're up again. Um, do I see somebody standing in the doorway? It, the door is um, closed. The door is closed, but you hear shit on the other side of it. It's obvious that there are gang members on the other side of that door, and they're about to throw it open. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to take aim at... Because I don't... You know how I am with rapid reload. Doom yeah, guys, so, so, so you just doom guy reload that shit. Just... Yeah, for the shotgun, yeah. And then uh, I'm just going to point at the door and I just look over at Greg like, look, you know what they say? You either live for Trevor or you die illegible. Let's do this. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you live do for Trevor or you or die, die illegible. illegible. Yeah, and then I'm going to shoot at anything that opens that door. I'm not, he's not even Overwatch. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fine. Greg like Greg like uh, hmm. Because he's got the guns pointed at the door. You hear guys on the inside. It's obvious they're in there. Hmm. Griglack could always overwatch, send them to horny jail if they pop out. Griglack will wait. So you're just going to like be waiting by the... It's it, You're going to Looney Tunes it. Like you're going to just stand by the door with the bat in both hands and just wait like Tom and Jerry. He's <laughs> yes. just like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, nah, no. No, no. All right, this guy has died. The guy behind the police car is not moving anymore. Um, all right, this guy is out in the street. That guy is out in the street. This guy is going to is going to make a stub revolver attack. He fails. So a stub revolver round bounces off the the window of the uh, Tarox. Just one shot, like it's it just. Ping. I mean, it 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 bounces off the glass, so that does give you an idea of how heavily armored that thing is, but also an idea of how pathetically armed these guys are now that the Underhill Gang is not supplying everyone with ordnance. <laughs> uh, the other guy also squeezes off a shot and digs. It skids off the pavement next to you. You just hear the bullet snap and pop by. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember to give market a standard attack. Uh, that does give them a bonus that they should be getting. All right. Yeah. It's just sitting there like, man, it sounds like somebody wants to look at the war. <laughs> All right. Uh, Victor Von Folk, you are next. <laughs> Have you seen the walls bleed? I'm going to fire the, the two individuals by the car. Oh, all right. So you're going to just 
spray that area. Okay. Yeah. Good. No. You rolled God a damn. You rolled a ninety nine. Dude, you're rolling real high right now. Ninety two, ninety nine. If if this were not reliable, that gun would be jammed. But you you uh <laughs> you 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 try to track them and you start shooting that auto cannon again, just round after round after round, and then you realize that the uh, cotter pen is still in there. <laughs> And you can't turn it past a certain degree bearing, <laughs> so you're just like, come on, and it won't go past it. And then you're like, oh, right, <laughs> dumb. You keep tracking them until you hit Griglack. Oh, God. <laughs> no. How terrible. Um. All right. Uh, that guy's staying put. All right, Quinn, you see two guys that have... Again. Yeah, they've, two guys have just peeled shots off at you. Uh, one shooting at your uh, sergeant, who's managed to just make a lot of noise with that auto cannon, but not a lot of damage. He's really good at that. I'm gonna. <clears throat> oh, fuck you! I killed like 28 Underhill gang with one <laughs> tiny grenade. <laughs> I don't remember that. And some dogs. Yeah, you you killed a lot Whoa. of dogs. I and had a bunch of civilians mostly. I'm gonna... Bums mostly, but you have to understand. I had a whole like under sewers area where you'd have to like find the right way out, and there was gonna be like levers you had to pull, and like there was there was like a boatman down there who was gonna be like, "Oh, I'll take you across, but if you do my toe, you killed all of them." <laughs> like it was just like <laughs> gay click bang. <laughs> I my long eyes over my shoulder and grab my contingency plan. And put my hand out, and I cast Flashbang at power level 2 at those two at the door. A 10 and a 1. That passes with multiple degrees. Wow. Okay, so you're just like, squibble blow and they just, there's a white flash. Okay, so let me roll for them. Yeah, okay. They, <laughs> they do not resist. <laughs> <laughs> just the most of them just get stunned for one round. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it, they they've just taken out their little shitty six shooters, and they're like, "Pow, pow, we're serious bad man." And then there's just that white flash, and they're just. Uh, bye, bye. <laughs> if anyone else is over there, it's a pretty decent. It's twenty meters. No, wait, no. What's the area? Isn't it? I think uh, it's twenty meters. Yeah. Yeah, should be for every. Well, it's what is it? One d ten for every what? degree uh, of success. Oh, it's range, yeah. All right, let's see. That oh, that's guy. Range. Okay, that's right. I can cast it. Yeah, that guy is stunned. That guy is stunned. That guy is stunned. There's Ricky. All right, Ricky, they're back at you. They have not opened that door yet. They seem to oh. have gone quiet. Interesting. Uh, Ricky's gonna go over here to the side of the door, and then all he's gonna do is knock on it. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. And there's a pause, and you hear someone go, what What should we do? And, <laughs> and then the, I just go, come on, guys, let me in. And he goes, who, who is it? It's me, guys, let me in. I'm scared. <laughs> there's gunfire out here. Deceive. You're going to have to roll and deceive for that. Just a knock in the middle of a firefight, like, it's me, the guy. <laughs> You know, the dude, the man, the guy with the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, I'm like, yeah, it's like, uh, it, it's Corey Traverson. I'm outside. I need help, guys. Oh, it, it, I can't believe you fucking passed. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, please come on in. And he opens the door. And as soon as he opens the door, that I want to give that the opportunity for, uh, because I, I, can I shoot uh, yes. during the same time? Yes. Okay, yes. so yeah, as soon yes. as he opens the door, I just, I start blasting. <laughs> I just start <laughs> blasting. <laughs> Yeah. So, like he opens the door and a pistol just pops in and goes bam. <laughs> yeah. So the first one. Oh uh, my yeah. god. <laughs> Jesus. See, I was like right up against his head as soon as he. Opens yeah. As the soon door. as he opens the door, you just blow his brains out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so the, the Looney Tunes philosophy. Just knock in the middle of a firefight. <laughs> Please let me in. Oh, okay. Bang. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He is dead. Uh, Griglek, it's go. Uh, the door is open. The one guy is dead. Well, I can't really charge into something I can't see. Sure, you can. Do you want to? 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, you totally could. <laughs> sure you can. You could also sure. just half move and then swift attack and you want Sure, why not? I'm Greg Laxon. All right, so you, you, you jump through the door once your friend is shot and you find a guy right by the right side of the door who attacks you. <gasps> okay, and here we go. He's going to attack you with his absolutely shit. Oh my God, this is horrible. What did he get? No. Oh, okay. So he takes a knife out of his boot as you come in. He's like, oh, and he tries to stick you with it. And he misses because he's so startled and stabs the wall. <laughs> Griglack, what are you going to do to this poor man? He's just a victim of society, man. He, oh. he did try to stab you, Griglack. He did stab the wall, however. His knife is weak and his sword arm has failed him. Uh, oh no number of hits oh my god <laughs> oh my <laughs> sweet jesus so so wow wow i could do i could choose where i hit but i'll live with this one i think okay so he tries to stab the wall as you come in he's so started he's like, and you just windmill this guy. I mean, it's just like Looney Tunes. It's it's a windmill of pummels. You you pull out the stun baton. You crack it on. You hit him in the chest and send him against the wall. And he comes rebounding back, stuttering on his legs, almost dead. You smash him in the body again. And then as he's falling to the ground, you smack his arm. He is dead. He is so fucking dead. That is That is like... 30 49 points of damage he is so <laughs> dead he is he goes into the afterlife crippled it probably doesn't matter but isn't swift attack two attacks no it's it's an attack and then a it's chance a, it's a half action and then for every two degrees of success over the target you get um, an extra hit. It's so a, not an auto cow. So it's to, it's a ch you beat this guy three times. <laughs> yeah. So it is a chance of additional attacks proccing yeah. based on. It's kind of like it's kind of like doing a full auto or semi auto. Well, specifically a semi auto burst for guns. You did so much fucking damage that is hilarious. You you beat that poor man to death who just was there. There's just a corpse laying there with a caved-in chest. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those yeah, things... Sticking out of the dry <laughs> no, I mean, there's... Yeah, there's a knife sticking out of the drywall that's like a shitty hunting knife. And then there's this guy that looks like a tube of toothpaste you squeezed with vice grips. <laughs> I mean, he's dead. Well done, Griglack. Um, all right. So Griglack, son of Griglack, made that guy crippled. Let's see. These guys... Okay, now he's staying there. All right, Uriah, you're up. All right, um, Uriah, it, hang on, is my fucking gun empty? No, it's not. So Uriah is just going to suppress, uh, y'all, suppressing fire! Start suppressing these guys. The poor guys who are just stumbling around that you now have just shot. <laughs> you're like, yeah, suppressing and fire, and then just shoot the guy's arm <laughs> off. <laughs> Because the guy's stumbling around like he's been tased. He's like, God, dude. And the other guy's like, mop, mop, you know, trying to see if he's deaf. And you yep. you kill him dead. I, you kill one of them dead. He just pinwheels to the ground. He's I gone. I wounds that he has. He has, he has uh, ten wounds. I did nine damage. Oh, shit. That's right. I thought, I thought these guys all had nine and eight. Oh, well. No. Learning as we you move to, along. You go to combat, it'll show wounds total versus current. All right, one moment. Do -do -do -do. So he's... I, he's, can, I he's, can manage that fucking, like, shitty um, no. numbers tracking for you. We got it. I got it. So I, I just mod did that by hand. Um, yeah, he, he has one... He is almost dead. He is almost dead. He's, he's pinwheeled to the ground. He's holding a ruined arm that's just, like, shattered meat and bone. And he's, like, screaming. Uh, and his other friends still can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, so the, the other guy's like, I know, but and he's like, ah! <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, and that was that guy's turn. Uh, that get re remove combatant. That guy. That guy. Okay, now we are on to this guy. This guy is coming back to his senses, and he is gonna. He's going to shoot. He is going to shoot. So here we go. He's going to he's going to pop out with that stub revolver and he's going to 
do nothing. He pulls the trigger on that stub revolver and no bang. Just clink. Just and then he pulls it again and there's a click. And he starts to look down at the gun in his hand. He realizes today is a very, very bad day. All right, so Greg Lank, this guy and this guy pour in to the room. And this guy here, he pulls out his fucking he's got a shitty little knife as well. He pulls it out. And oh my god. <laughs> Quit giggling. He, he tries to stab you, but you just kind of jump back like, what are you doing? You've not seen fighting so clumsy in a very long time. The other man, though, he's also, he's got like a broken bottle from inside the bar. And it does nothing. You're unfucking killable, Griglack. Jesus Christ, you've jumped off a roof, you've escaped an explosion, and now you're unkillable in melee. I'll just give him time. He'll get, he'll get bonked. One of these days, one of these days, the DM is getting his revenge. All right. That guy is going to move there. That guy's going to move there. That guy is going to move there. Uh, all right. Victor Von Folkt. Boom. All right. I'm, I'm going to sigh and let the machine gun hang in its cradle, hop out of the truck, draw my sword, point it at the guy who tried to shoot at me twice and yell, I have stabbed people I like better for less. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you're just going to dismount and go after him. Yep. All right. I mean, you might be able to run over there. Let's do it then. I didn't know if you'd count dismounting the truck as a, as a full action. Actually, let me measure that. Oh, yeah, that's well within your range. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're up on him. You can do a charge if you like. Like if you're just like yeah. bellowing it ah! with the sword as he's with like the laying war one yeah throw cut scene exactly you're just charging in and you know like cape bellowing behind you as you just charge <laughs> up you know in the rain okay let's do it knife fight city knife fight no, city no god damn I haven't rolled under a 90 this entire fucking session. Have you cursed my character? You could re-roll that if you like. Use a fate point. Redeem yourself in the eyes of the emperor. Oh. <laughs> now that's the good shit. All right. Six oh degrees of success, three hits. Right arm, right arm, right arm. Which is already the arm that was shot. You monster. <laughs> so as he's holding his arm, you pinwheel around and just cut it up. And then you lift it up with your sword and cut it in half. And then half again on the backstroke as pieces of his arm land in his lap. And he's like, oh. <laughs> no, not, not the guy that was on the ground. The guy that tried to fire twice at me and failed both times. Oh, so you're going to shoot. Oh, my God. I'm going to disarm him. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, yeah. even better. You've killed the guy that tried to shoot at you. The arms comes off and hints the guy on the ground who already has the wounded arm. And he's like, ah! Not only has his arm been wounded, but his friend's arm just hit him in pieces as his friend Do you dies. Need a hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is bad. You are a monster. However, you do see from your position there are other guys around the edge of that building that are about to jump on you. All right. This is going to get interesting. Okay, that guy's going to stay in the middle of the room. All right, uh, Quintus, what will you do? Uh, I distort vision as a free action, so I essentially go invisible. And uh, I will use... I want to know how many people are in this building, so I'm going to use Sense Presence. All right. Which that passes as well. So up to... I can tell everyone... I can sense all life within 30 meters. What is it? 30? I have to write this down. I yeah. Sense Presence. Let's see. 13... <laughs> Within 50 meters of me, I can see... 15 or 5-0. Five, 5-0. Zero. Five, zero. Yeah, that's well within. To yes, one. I want to know everything in this building. All right. Just see everywhere everyone is. You detect there's between 8 and you can't 10. can't do as much damage as these guys, but I might be able to help tell them where enemies are. Yeah, he said that you, you detect that there's between 8 and 10 guys left, but there's somebody who's different in there. 
somebody who doesn't belong. I'll just scream out the Sarge. About eight to ten more inside, careful, and something awkward. But that's my turn. I wish you weren't so fucking... When I say awkward, you understand where I'm coming from. I look at the warp normally and go, eh. <laughs> yeah, you just look at the warp and you're like, eh, bleh, whatever. All right, yeah, so... Yeah, it sometimes. Yeah. All right, next is... Okay, that guy... Oh, my God. All right, this guy is going to try to... Let's see. He's going to try to fix his arm. He has <laughs> failed... And he dies. Nine degrees of failure. <laughs> he is dead. He's just like what? He just sticks his fingers in the thumb to try to stop the bleeding, and he goes into shock. Like yeah, stuff. he dies. <laughs> so the guy with the arm is just like, ah, and makes it worse. That's not proper first first aid procedure there. Are you just gonna yell at the guy? Or are you just gonna yell at him like that? That's not how you do that. And he's just dying he's, horribly. He's just muttering that to himself as his oh. gun clicks empty. No, I was just gonna say like you go over there and say that to him as he's screaming and dying. You're like, don't do that. No. Oh God. I've got oh. everything. To, I ain't got time to. I ain't got time to bleed. All right. <laughs> one more guy runs out here and he pulls his fucking sidearm at point blank range. It looks like he's trying to get out and run away. And he fails a fucking gen? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, so when this guy... Click on that, you can actually set the range and give yourself the bonuses for point blank. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yep. So, oh, shit. So 82 is nowhere going to hit. I'm just still... That would have hit, but he rolled an 82. And he can't take back. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying is an example, like trying to see how this works. So I'm happy. Got it. We're learning as we go along. So yeah, that guy pulls that shot out and it just like discharges into the pavement. Damage. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that would have been horrible. But no, he yeah. uh, he discharges his pistol into the floor. He just like because he's like on startled his, on his draw. He has a serpa. Yeah, <laughs> he's like I just you fucking to shot myself. Gun, the holster comes with it. You yeah. shoot yourself in the leg. Yeah, it's like that meme. I just fucking shot myself. That fucking guy. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Next. Next is okay. He's gone, and then okay. That guy is, needs to be removed. <laughs> Remove combatant. All right, Ricky, you're up. Yeah, seeing uh, these two guys come up on Griglack, I decide to get within point blank range with both my weapons and fire one at each of them. Ooh. All right, let's do it. Let's yeah. See them dice. Let's see them dice, big boy. Let's see what you got. Yep. So, first one. Oh, my and God. Second one. Oh my god. So one guy's right leg gets destroyed by a shotgun, the other guy's he is just headshot. That's horrific, dude. That's like 19 so like so you're like surprise and you just blow a guy's leg off and you shoot the other guy in the face. <laughs> yeah, he comes in not realizing that it's the heat of combat and everyone's kind of taking it serious. He goes, "Hey, knock knock." And before he could answer, he just shoots. That's horrific, man. Yeah. It's awesome, though. I mean, I'm just imagining, like, a Tarantino gunfight where it's just gore everywhere. It yeah. just splatters so he, and, yeah. It shoots, and then all the, the stuff goes everywhere, and then he looks up at Griglack, and uh, he just smiles. God. Oh, it, looking for approval. If this, and then they kiss. No, if this... And then they kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine... I imagine, in all honesty... I imagine in all honesty, if this was a Tarantino film, they would just have like buckets of blood and psh, like they do that reverse shot where you yeah. see the gun go off and the yeah. blood just go all over the wall. From everyone's perspective outside the room that we went in, um, all they see is just blood flying out of the door. Yeah. Flashes of light. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've oh, no. killed like four or five people in this room that is like the size of a broom closet. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, this is like beef stew for later. Oh my god. All right, Griglack, son of Griglack, you are coated in gore and blood again. All right, so where is the door? The s yeah, that's the door. The door is the tile opposite of Jimmy or Ricky, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Griglack right. nods approvingly, then <laughs> walks over to the door and then knocks on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just had a gunfight in this room of screaming and fighting and now you're going to try to do the knock again <laughs> you just imagine like you just hear boom on the other side of the room and you hear like a light 
Yeah, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Greg Lank, roll deceive. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I, Fuck it. Roll with... Fellowship, yeah. Fellowship? Yeah, okay. So, unless you want to re-roll that, I'm going to tell you what happens. I want to re-roll that. Really? You only have four deceive. That's five degrees of failure. That's. I don't think I'm going to need many more fate points today. So. Okay. <laughs> Famous last words. Famous last words in Dark Heresy. Oh, well. yeah. Luck. So you you like knock on the door and the guy's like, "What?" <laughs> and what? and you're like, "Hello, um, <laughs> meats man here, bring meats." And the guy's like, "Fuck you! I'm not falling for it." <laughs> Again. And you hear a shelf being moved, like he's trying to pull it in front of the door. Oh. All right. Next is this guy. He, they're staying there. And then this guy. Mm. All right. There. Okay. Uriah, you're up. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uriah uh, just drops the machine gun, draws his pistol, and snaps off a shot at uh, that guy over there. All right. No, no time to aim. Hold on, let me delete that guy. That guy's dead. And that guy's dead. And that guy's dead. Cool. And a hit. That? How much damage? Eight. Oh. Attrition one, so that's like five damage after his soak, because he, he has toughness. All right, so oh, you... No, you, should, you should be taking five damage, Tex. Oh, he, uh, shit. That's right. That's right. Yeah, there. Correct it. Brain damage. So, yeah, you, you pull out your pistol, and you're like, bah! You know, it's just one nice... Pull, you do you do the law enforcement as you've seen in the video the squat and shoot yes. you know you do the squat <laughs> and the, and the exaggerated chicken wing yeah yeah so you do the squat and exaggerated chicken wing and you fucking just drill the guy and he's like Arr! yes <laughs> you're like just like in the simulator <laughs> all right um that guy just like in the manual <laughs> oh my god all right Okay, this guy moves in, and he is he is just raring to go, and he's he's gonna start shooting at point blank range. Okay. Uh, range point blank, and he is going to roll. Ooh, eight damage to your body. What is your soak? Uh, nine. <laughs> I've got nine armor. So, so at point blank range, at point blank range, this guy pulls a handgun, pulls the trigger, and it's just ping. <laughs> Me too, death. <laughs> yeah, it does nothing as he shoots you square in the chest. That is amazing. Oh, all right. Poor... Oh, you died. You haven't hit me yet. <laughs> poor gang member. All right. So, um... All right, there we go. Okay, Victor Von Fucht, this guy's just shot you. It is your turn. All right, so I've, I've got the sword in the left hand. I'm going to draw with the right hand. Take one step forward to put it under his chin and pull the trigger. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Wait. <laughs> and say my turn. Oh my god. So you're just gonna like coup de grasse this guy like under the yeah. chin and just yep. like just hat. the magna pattern heavy revolver, yes. Do I need to roll? Yeah, you need to roll ballistics to pull that off. But you, you're at uh, point, point blank range. Point blank. Standard attack. Uh, and then you'd also get another plus 10 because you're you half aim. Oh my god. That is. <sighs> Yeah, it's super high. You still hit. That's 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 twenty damage to the brain. So you you just duck under it. Oh, under a what was that thing having twenty damage? I don't know. Oh, oh heavy because your fucking your pistols configured as a melee weapon for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! So instead of shooting, he just takes the barrel and jams it right up his no, face. No, I, I fucking flip it look. over and mulligan him like yeah. on a holiday <laughs> and just great. beat his brains in. That would actually be really fucking metal if that's what you want to happen. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do it and yeah. fix it so it's not melee anymore. Yeah, but no, that's... That's, 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 what, it, that's what it would have looked like. 
Okay, but no, that's I like that idea of like he's he's sword font that one guy and then he just pops the gun up out of the holster, flips it in his hand, and bashes the guy's head in. <laughs> like trying to obviously take him a prisoner, but he dies because as it turns out, 20 damage to the cranium with a fucking gun is deadly. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that still that still would have killed the shit out of him. Still cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Fuck. Uh, alright. Um, that guy's there. Alright, Quintus, you're up, buddy. Quintus! Oh, the guy's still over there. I'm... I, well, it's my turn, so I become back visible. I'll just take a shot at that guy next to Depp. The Which guy trying desperately to flee? Yeah, he was trying to flee. I didn't see that. He didn't care. <laughs> yeah, no, he's still valid. Val valid? What is this, Space Station 13? No, a valid target. Uh, ah. Oh, half aim. Uh, with the long last, that's considered short range, right? Very. <laughs> I mean, I think he, the, you like look through the scope, and he's so blurry because he fills up back. most of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Nine damage to the body. So, yeah, as this guy is trying to duck and run, and he's already taken a shot from Uriah, like, hitting him, you just cut him down. He is dead. He is sprawled out and dead. Yeah, just <laughs> fucking blap. Gone. You s Does he turn into like a skeleton? Like in Star Trek? When no. With no, he just, he, no, he just... No, he just he just falls over. No, he just falls over, but there's like a smoking hole that's smoldering like a cigarette. You know? So it's just like... I like it. Alright. Jesus. Um, Next. Ricky, you're up. And uh, I just look over at Rick like, no, no, you got to do it like this. And then I knock on the door. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm scared. Oh, my Please God. Please let me in. I, I got all kinds of drugs and stuff, and they're going to take it away from me. I got so much dope out here. All right, that's going to be a deceive, but on, I'm going to give you a minus 30. That's, I'm sorry, but these guys are, <laughs> there's been a horrible, huh? So how do we do a minus 30? That would be modifier minus 30? Yeah. Yes. No! <laughs> no! You're trying to go against Ricky with the way he talks to cops? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so you! <laughs> the cops would clearly see him doing something illegal. He's like, no, no, see, like, it was this guy, Corey Trevor, so I was trying to help him out. Like, basically, he was, like, laying on the ground. He had all these drugs and stuff, and I was just like, man, this is illegal. You should be doing it. All right, so yeah. someone but comes over and just... He just has a long list of shit you claim you did over the years. <laughs> yeah. So this guy comes over, and you hear him push the shelf out of the way and open the door. Okay. Um, oh I don't God. get to shoot at him, do I? Uh, no. That that was that was that was your whole everything. However, Griglak, son of Griglak, sees this guy in kind of nice robes, and he's opening the door, and he's like, "Hello!" And he looks really surprised. What do you do? Uh, Griglak, not think. Griglak, smash. <laughs> um, so he seems different than the other guy. Oh yeah, this guy's wearing very fine robes. He looks very fancy. Okay. So Griglack kind of nods at Ricky, kind of like, you know, when Spock is like impressed with something, he goes, yeah. Like, hmm. yeah. like that. And then he rushes in and he just hits him once, Sorry. just once with I his hand. My headset. All right, so you're going to hit him just once, the fancy it man. It's Griglack's turn. And Griglack, they managed to talk their door open again. And now Griglack <laughs> is. For, the, I'll just, I'll just hit him with. Well, I don't. I'll just hit him with like the handle of the magic sword or something. Oh. You can just try to backhand him. Just yeah, can do that. Just push him away from the door or something. Unarmed I won't attack. charge. I'll just yeah, just do an unarmed attack. All right. So let's see. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You 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 swing at him and he he backs up. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? And he looks <laughs> like he's gonna try to run. Like he's terrified now because you're just like, ah, 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 did you come through the door? <laughs> and he doesn't understand eagle claw technique or whatever the hell you people call it. <laughs> Um, all right. Is the bitch where my money at the technique. All right. And then, okay, Uriah, you're up. All right. So Uriah see, doesn't see anyone in his field of view, so he's just going to hustle over it to take cover uh, by around over here. Okay, cool. Okay, Victor Von Folk, you are up. 
going to wipe the blood off the handle of my revolver on the dude I just beamed. Oh, God. And so then, you're just like, mm, mm. Yeah. yeah, just I don't want to touch that. Nice. I grab it, it and left, uh, the right hand sword in the left and follow Uriah into the building. Well, that may be difficult because you're not into the building yet. Oh. And as you guys get close. I the, thought this was a this was a wall, the edge of the pavement. Nope. There. No, no. See, there's stairs right okay. there. Yeah. Yes, I do see that now. Okay. All right. Next <laughs> is the guy who you just tried to beat up, Griglack. He's running. Uh... He's, he's running over here to this door, and then he runs inside, and he closes it. He just, ah, 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 and he, like, makes, he runs like a scared child, like, doesn't know which way to go. This is obviously not where he hangs out. And as he runs, you hear jingling, like metal clinking around. But he, he, he runs back there, and he looks absolutely terrified. Quintos, you're up. I swear to God, if this is Cyrano Jones. No. I'm still maintaining my sense of presence because it is the same. So I'm going to just do a full move down to the bottom. All right. Here, and I think that's all I can do. As far as is presence... Is open or locked? That, that, that can be open. Okay. If you like. Open, close, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I'm Unless just going to... Unless there's a little lock room. icon I'm on it, be... generally you can open or close it at your leisure. No, I'm going to much be there, but ha push the door open and make sure that like, I can send everyone alive. How many seem left? Uh, you You... Since... Three bad people left, and you sense one other people left. Uh, hey guys, try not to kill everyone in there. That's all. <laughs> That's all I got. And that guy's gone. All right. I'm very well as a it, It's okay. Ricky, you're up. <laughs> you got, see Greg Light go through, and you hear him. You, you hear Greg Light go through and start swinging at something in there. Yeah. Uh, so he uh, he goes into the room. Uh, just so, like he, he basically runs past Griglack and he gets to this table and he's just doing his gun thing like I don't think anybody's in here <laughs> I think everybody's gone and then he just yells like police <laughs> cops you guys got any dope where's the dope at you, you see a room that just has overturned tables uh, broken bottles crunched peanut shells it smells Is there of ammo laying everywhere and health packs is this a boss fight room no Okay. No, it's, it's obvious okay. that this was a gang hideout full okay. of playing cards and drinking and debauchery, and uh, you startled the fuck out of them. However, uh, however, there is a large sack at the center of this table. Oh. Well, he's not going to do anything with a sack. He's just going to be on Overwatch. Okay. Because he's, like, he's motivated to take shit, but he's not going to get out of a firefight if he can help it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Griglack, he, you, see, you see Rich City go in, guns out, he's panning around, he's like, police, guys, bah, bah, me. And it seems less certain as time goes on, as he pans his guns around, what are you going to do? I will run over to the door here, and I will kind of point at it and say, like, no kill. <laughs> no kill I, yeah. <laughs> make, sure, make sure crazy man doesn't shoot him down. Okay. <laughs> crazy. crazy man. Okay, got it. Okay, a a tiny slot opens in this door, like a <laughs> tiny slot, like a armored slot at waist high, like the armory door opens up, and you see some eyes look out through it, and then the guy raises his mouth to it and goes, you guys should fuck off, this is our place, <laughs> and then he's like looking through that little hole. Um, Because he's looking through that hole, and he's yelling at me, and I don't like that. And I'm on Overwatch. Can I shoot at that? Yes. However, okay. that's a minus 30. Okay. And it's a tiny little hole. The guy's How yelling. the distance on that short? That's short, but it's that's a trick shot because that's like, you know, it's like letter. I letter. think you can do called shots in the program. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, you try. You try. Oh. But a, a round sparks oh, off up. it. <laughs> yeah, you're like, shut the fuck up! And he's like, ah! And it closes, like, really <laughs> quick. Because <laughs> he's obviously startled. It appears that there is indeed a safe room at the back of this. And they are in there, and they are armed. All right, next, Uriah, you're up. All right, okay. So... You hear gunfire inside. All right. Uriah is going to one, two, three, half move. Uh oh! Can, can I kick open the door? You can. Uh, how would I do that? Like an armed, like athletics check? Or Let's do an athletics check? check. I think. I think athletics. that's fair. 
<laughs> I have to roll under a one. <laughs> you got I'm going to give myself a fate point so I have a plus ten to this modifier. You run up to the door and you're like, you're like, I have read this in the manual. And you run up to it and you plant your foot on it and push yourself down the stairs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Do I take any damage from no, this? No, no. However, like, 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 and nine degrees of failure. However, your ego is sorely bruised. <sighs> and the sergeant saw it. Oh no, I looked bad in front of my superiors. <laughs> far more dangerous than hit points. <laughs> Far, far more dangerous. All right, so, uh, let's see. The guy... Uh, all right, so the other guy comes up to that little portcullis, and he opens it up, and he sticks a gun through, <laughs> but he can't see. So this is going to be stupid. Um, yeah, he, uh, he manages to squeeze off a shot, and it just goes into the wall. <laughs> then the little portcullis closes. All right, Victor... You see the man run up the stairs, kick the door, and slide down the stairs. Is there... there's the armored portcullis on this door as well? Or no? No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to walk up to the door and put my pistol on the lock and say police coming in as I pull the trigger. <laughs> All right. You know what? Uh, let's roll for that because the door is going to have an AP of two. It's not armored or anything. Um, but if if you just roll for damage, and if, I'm, I'm doing it at a downward angle. Okay. Not like horizontal through the door. All right. But okay, just roll for damage. Uh, attack type standard range point blank. Bam. <laughs> All right, is you apply that, you hear screaming on the other side of the door, and my fucking feet. <laughs> <laughs> I it, have opened the door. Yeah, the, so the door is the door just pops off the hinge, and you are you are in front of it, and you see a guy like hopping with one foot, like you've you've shot off most of his toesies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll point my pistol at the guy who I shot his feet off. And tell him, if you make me, I'll put you down. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. You know what? Fuck it. Let's see. You're going to do it. Let's see. Because I assume his weapon was not up and pointed at me. Nope. He surrenders. He, 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 he falls to the ground and puts his hands up. He, he wants no more of this business. He wants no more of this business. You, you, have, you have made him very, very fucking compliant today. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, he is, he is super, super compliant. Um, inside this locked door, you hear a guy that is uh, hurriedly trying to find an exit. He's scrabbling around in there like a rat. All right, Quintus, Quintos, the fresh maker. I could go for some Mentos. I'm going to go to there, and I don't have any more movement than that, but I would like to... Can I tell that the weird one's in that room? That area? Yeah. All right. Fuck! <laughs> that door just opened. Am I supposed to see that guy? Yeah, you it, you know they're in there, but the the basically they, they, they have been opening that little uh, door and then trying to shoot out and throw stuff and then close it. They, that, that is their little safe room. Uh I did not know that my guy is not aware, so he's going to stop there for his full movement turn. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Next is going to be Ricky. It's up to you. These these guy, these guy jokers keep opening and closing that door. Or the little okay. door within. Oh, I see. I'm going to get right next to the door, and I'm going to knock on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ricky, hold your fire if I, if, if I tell you to, okay? Yeah, I know. Ricky's not going to shoot. He's just going to go yell into it. He's like, I don't, don't want to tell you what to do, but get the fuck out here and stop fucking around or we're going to throw a grenade through that slot. We're not fucking around. Intimidate. You're going to have to roll intimidate for that. Yeah, he doesn't have very good intimidate. Yeah, his intimidate, there's like nothing there. It's like nine points. Let's see what happens. Same point. You give yourself ten. Yeah, I'll do that. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky, Bobby. 
No. Yeah, so, it's like yeah, that's so you I wasn't gonna go for it, but that's so so you you you're you're like <laughs> you you fuck up the intimidation and you end up confusing them. Like you threaten them in such a roundabout way that they don't understand what you're saying. Get out here so we can fucking shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the slots that open yeah. and things go in those holes, and if using that logic, a grenade could get in there. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> like he's like, is this a warning? We're gonna put a grape in there. <laughs> the guy's like, what? <laughs> all right. He meant uh, to say grenade, but he just he can't figure out the word. He's like lost. He's like, fuck. All right, so Griglak. He's just pointing his guns at the door. Griglak, son of Griglak. Okay, Griglak's gonna walk over and say really loud, "Ricky, how you pull pin in this grenade?" And intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, roll intimidate. <laughs> Ricky, how pull pin in this grenade? Oh God. Wow. <laughs> okay, the guys come out. They they have their hands up. They're like, we want no part of this. The simple man has done it. And with that... Do those guys feel like the ones that are off, or those guys feel like they're part of this? Say again? Do those guys feel like the one that didn't belong here? No. I just feel like I don't care about those. I'll point yeah. to the door, see? Yeah, they, they, they throw their guns down, and they're like, look, dude, we're just, we're just doing our jobs, man. See, scared man indoor. We exit combat. I like to go in this room. Yes, uh, combat is exit. How do I exit combat? I just kind of walk past, just, take oh. a good look at these two, and just walk in. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing in no. there. <laughs> I mean, I know he was in this room, then I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll, I'll knock. Um. He he goes. Are uh, you okay in there? He goes. Occupied. Occupied. Are you okay? He goes. No. What's wrong? I'm I'm scared. Uh, don't worry, the police are here. Oh, heaven, thank you, uh, Emperor, thank you. Yes, and he 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 comes yeah. to the door and he comes out and he's wearing all this finery and uh, he's he's his all of his pockets are jingling and he's like, thank you so very much, thank you so very much. Wait a second, what what what's all that in your pockets? He goes, I I'm the <laughs> one moment. <laughs> he says he's the tax collector, but you don't believe him. Show me okay, your oh, do I roll you're the tax yet? collector, then you won't have any problem showing your identification to an officer of the law, will you? He goes, Oh, oh I I I have many identifications, and he reaches into his bag and produces a sack. Of golden coins. I slap the coins out of his hands. I don't care either. I'm You're good. under arrest for <laughs> counterfeiting the, the basic imperial currency. All right, and it, and as as you place him under arrest, he drops the accent. He's like, I would have gotten away with it too. And then once he's arrested, he I take different? the attack of coins. Yeah, why does he seem different? That's what he Dix is asking. All right, the reason yeah, he I'm seems. Just, He's not overtly hostile. That's what I was using as the judgment. Oh, okay. But not different in terms of like... Oh, of course. Is there anything weird going on? He has in his possession a letter. Do I know where it is? No. But you sense that there is an important message. Uh, well, he's gonna. They're arresting him, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, I mean, this guy's this guy's like a con artist sort. And as soon as you put muscle on him, he's like, "Oh, you're not breaking me," and he just goes limp and compliant. Um, because okay. he. I, can you hold him for a second? I'm gonna put yeah, him I'd down. Point, I point at Quintus and I go, "Can you make this man incontinent?" Oh, I can make him a lot of things. But I don't want to turn you all into jelly, so I'm going to hold off on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of like putting cuffs on him and stuff. I'm going to just pat him down and look for whatever I'm sensing. You, you do, your fingers eventually do brush it, and you do eventually find it. You, you find the letter in question, and you draw it out and in I'll your fingertips. I'll kind of pull out the letter, and I'll kind of look at both these guys, and I'll just kind of turn over. Is this like a wall, or is it like a counter? That's a counter. All right. I don't want to like. I'm not hiding. I just want to step away just in case. And oh, of I course. Kind of slowly open it. The letter is written in a very impressive cursive scroll, and it says, "Take the coins, seed them throughout the city, and then return to me." Uriah. 
Yes. Come, let me tell me what you think of this, and I want to like hold out the letter to him. It's, it's a conspiracy to debase de imperial currency. <laughs> it seems more than that. Who are you? I'm going to try to question the guy. All right. Um, at this point, I think I'd like to end for tonight because this okay. is starting to tread into deeper waters. So that was episode 11. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, you have a choice of what you consume on the internet. Finding my strange little hole all that more interesting is appreciated. So thank you for the support, thank you for the follows, and thank you for all of the love. Stay safe.